Hey everybody, it's a beautiful day outside. The birds are chirping and the breeze is blowing and I feel like cooking something, so let's do this. Okay, hello everybody. Uh, we're gonna make some uh, German pancakes today, potato pancakes. Uh, one of my friends asked me to make a video of the pancakes and here they are. All right, number one, what I have in there is two large potatoes and they're shredded. Uh, you can use a cheese grater, you can use any kind of shredder. You know that thing that I have, the, the green thing with the blades in it? Well, that's what I used. All right, so you shred them into the water and once they're shredded, you put them into the microwave for about maybe two minutes. You don't want to cook them in the microwave. You just want to get them warmed up, you know, get the chill off of them. You know, you might want to start the cooking process a little bit, but don't go crazy and, and cook them in there because it's going to be a mess. So this is after they've come out of the microwave. They're, they're, they're kind of warm. You know, they're, you could still touch them. They're not hot, but they're... Uh, you know they got a little bit of a head start okay uh, I use the smallest shredder that I have for this all right now there went one egg here comes one small onion diced very small and a blob of parsley I don't know how to how they <laughs> I don't know how they uh, name you know parsley I call it a blob all right there we go now stir that up. You you have to make sure that the eggs, the flour, and the milk are completely incorporated in with the potatoes. That's really important. Okay, so here comes a little bit of flour. Flour is going to work like glue. Uh, it's going to hold them together so that they don't just fall apart. All right, so I'm going to say that was about three quarters of a cup of flour. Um, uh, I do believe I put some uh, salt. There you go. It's a, a large amount of salt. You know, don't forget, you have two potatoes, large, they were big. And, um, and one egg, you know, there's no salt in any of that. So you have to add salt, a good amount of it. By the way, I had a complaint on my on my uh, Amish friendship bread. Someone complained that I am not very entertaining, and that sometimes I swear, sometimes I cuss, and I oh, and I talk too much, <laughs> and I'm not very entertaining. So I'm sorry. You know that video has 94,000 views, and I finally got a complaint. Woohoo! But don't worry, I, f I uh, filed that complaint right in the right spot, so it's not a problem. I can't say it'll never happen again, but, uh, you know. Okay, there we go. There's the flour, the parsley, the salt, the pepper, the egg, and the milk. Did I put milk in it yet? I don't know, I can't tell. Anyway, there should be some milk in there. It's either in there or it's going in there. Yeah, I think it's in there. Okay, now, you don't want this stuff too wet. But, on the other hand, you don't want it too dry. You know, that's what makes the pancake part. Is when you have a little bit of meat that isn't potatoes. You know what I'm saying? You get a little bit of a body in there that's not potatoes okay now here I'm using butter and this butter is a, a little bit brown but don't worry uh, brown butter is used in a lot of recipes all it's gonna do now wait a minute if it turns black yeah you're screwed but brown butter all it's gonna do is give your item a little bit more of a nutty flavor you know, a little richer flavor. So that butter wasn't burnt. It was, it's just right. 
Okay, now here's the thing. You got to keep this in mind. These potatoes are raw. So once you put them in the pan, you got to let them sit there. They have to cook. Now what I do is I start them out in a pan that's medium high. The pan is medium hot. And then maybe a minute later I'll turn the pan down. But the initial brown on the potato comes from the first minute when you first put it in there medium high. Another thing, you have to make sure you have enough oil. Whether you're using olive oil or butter or salad oil, whatever you're using, you got to make sure that there's enough of it in there. The potatoes cook the best when there's contact with the pan, of course. And if you have oil underneath the potato, that's a lot of contact with the pan. So that oil is bringing up heat that's browning the item that you have in there. So if you have no oil in there, eh, it's gonna, you're going to make it harder on yourself if you have no oil or not enough oil. Some uh, Jewish ladies actually kind of deep fry these things. I mean, they're in, you know, they're in a half an inch of oil, you know. I don't use that much. Plus, I like using butter. You know, the flavor is there with the butter. Um, I don't even use a mixture of margarine and butter. I just use straight butter and oh man, I mean the flavor is really there. That's that's my, uh, you know, that's my preference. You can do anything you want. You know, you could use olive oil. You could use peanut oil. You could use motor oil. But anyway, the main thing is this. Remember that the potatoes are raw. It's going to take time to cook them. Uh, make sure you have enough oil. Uh, make sure you have enough patience to not keep flipping them over, flipping them over, flipping them. You know, like uh, my buddy there, Sam, you know. Sam doesn't like to leave things still. You know, he likes to just keep mixing it up. Well, that's not going to work here. You gotta you gotta leave them alone. They gotta cook. They're raw potatoes. Now you could do what I'm doing here. You can flip them over. Uh, you know, just to get the tops a little more brown, and then the next flip will be for the bottoms to get the bottoms a little more brown. But you know, I, what what I don't want you to do is just keep flipping them. You know. Uh, man, these things are so good, man. This is really comfort food to me. I mean, to Germans, this is comfort food, believe me. <laughs> uh, I'm a sinner. The guy, the German guy told me that he just ate three bratwurst and some potato pancakes. He's in Germany. And I'm like, oh, man. I wonder how many Germans ate three bratwurst today. I bet you a lot of them did. You know what? My next sausage video, I'm going to do something besides Italian sausage. I'll do bratwurst or... I'll do one of them. I'll do... I'll do one of them. Uh, I do have a smoker out in the back. I could smoke them. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I might do. But anyway, coming up, videos coming up are shrimp toast... It's a, uh, it's a Chinese appetizer. Uh, I just did white chili. White chili, I'll have the video up pretty soon. And I want to do phyllo uh, spanakopita. But I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do a pie of spanakopita. I'm going to do a uh, individuals. You know, so when friends come over, you know, for the holidays, start thinking about it. Uh, you know, you got little individual uh, hors d'oeuvres. So those are the next three, three videos. All right, here they come. Man, these things are good. Okay, now I'm going to say they cook for a total of uh, about 15 minutes. Okay, here's I've, here's what I got. I've got uh, 
fresh made rye bread with Braunschweiger and mayonnaise and mustard and then I've got three potato pancakes three potato pancakes with uh, sour cream and I gotta go I gotta eat